Hey everyone, welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jody, and in today's video, we are doing a free flow organic vinyasa style practice. And when I say free flow organic, meaning really exploring our bodies today, finding some freedom in movement as we move into these postures, and really exploring the depth of sensation in our practice today. So grab your yoga mat and let's find your happy place. Let's get started in tadpole. So tadpole is the same thing as child's pose, except our knees are wide. So it's kind of like a mini version of frog. It's a great posture to just kind of get into the hips gently. So we're gonna open the knees wide, feet together. Go ahead and relax your belly down. Uh, you can reach your arms in front of you or just rest your forehead on your arms. And let's take a moment to just check in here. How are we doing today, everybody? Acknowledge your thoughts. Acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledge your emotions. And whatever you're feeling or thinking, you are exactly where you're meant to be. Start to deepen the breath just a little bit here as we're breathing in and out of the nose, taking deep breaths in and controlled breaths out. And let's be really, really aware here again to our thoughts and feelings because we're gonna check back in at the very end of our practice to notice what has changed. into, well, let's go ahead and reach the arms out. So we're gonna reach the arms out, a real nice stretch here as you walk your fingertips forward, spread your fingers here. And then we're gonna rise up onto the knees. So shift, you might need to walk your knees in a little bit here. Shift your shoulders over your wrists, drop the hips down, lift your chest up, and just feel right here. What do you feel in your body? And maybe just kind of start to move the body a little bit. Sway your hips to one side, take your gaze over the opposite shoulder. This practice today is going to be just an organic, free-flowing type of practice that allows us to do what is best for our body without putting too much thought into it, okay? When you're ready, you can come all the way back into child's pose here. Okay, feel the stretch, that opposition in the back and the spine, and then I'm just going to shift over to the right here, kind of like a semicircle. Come back up and drop the hips back down. Lift up through the chest. And maybe you don't want to pause here too long because it's not feeling as good on your back as it feels in my back, or vice versa, right? So really tuning into the fact that all of our bodies are different. I'm going to complete this circle all the way to the left and then come back down into child's pose and then I'm gonna reverse direction. So this might feel really good to you as well, and if so, continue on, moving all the way, circling up in front, dropping the hips, lifting the chest, and then continue on your circle around. But if you just feel like, oh, I really would prefer to feel this stretch in another area of my body, like maybe you wanna come back into a tabletop and move through a few cat cows, all right? So it's just taking this time to move the body, okay? And if you're not used to doing this, I'm going to reach the arms up, stand all the way up on the knees. If you're not used to doing this, just give yourself that opportunity to get used to it, okay? It might be a little uncomfortable at first to be like, well, I'm so used to following the teacher, I don't know what to do. But actually you do, okay? You are the best teacher in any 
yoga room in front of any yoga video. You are the best teacher. Well, the inner teacher, Sad Guru. And this is what we want to do is just follow the teacher. And I always just kind of like to compare it like, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you're stretching your body, you don't think to yourself, okay, now I'm going to extend my toes forward and reach my fingertips behind me, right? You just move and stretch your body. And this is what we're doing right now as we start this practice. We're just starting to move. And again, it might feel kind of uncomfortable at first. You could be thinking, I put this video on because I want to be led in a practice. But this is just kind of a different type of practice as we just move organically. Don't get me wrong. We do have a plan in place today. <laughs> but as much as possible, I'm going to really encourage you to explore your body. Let's do a couple cat cows here as you round the spine. And then lift back up, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale round. And inhale back up. Okay. Sit back on your heels, stretch your arms out in front of you, spread your fingers, press your hands down. Let's take it on up, downward facing on your knees, tuck your toes. Lift your hips up, push into your hands, move the chest to your thighs. Drop your head so you're looking behind you. And again, we're just starting to move the body. So right now I'm going to do an alternate heel press, right? We call this walking the dog. You see how this feels as you stretch out through the calves, okay? A swaying from side to side could feel really good through the side body and through the hips, right? Maybe even a deep bend in the knees here. Just move the body. Notice what happens as you bend the knees. You get deeper into your upper body here. Good. Or perhaps you need just to lift that leg up a little bit higher, okay? And take a few more breaths as you just start to move here. Continue to focus on your breathing and on sensation. slowly now walk your feet forward to your hands and to a standing forward fold and let's take it right here okay head is heavy legs can be straight knees can be bent hands to the floor maybe grip the opposite elbows or just pulling yourself in deeper into this forward bend so you see how there's so many different options in every posture Good. maybe even grabbing the elbows swaying side to side Good. And then keep the knees slightly bent. We're going to stand all the way up. As you stand up, reach your arms above the head. Take your arms up. Touch your palms. Look up and exhale. Hands to your heart center. Samastiti. Attention pose or equal standing posture. So we press down through our feet. So we're going to move through uh, just a few cat cows here or a few sun salutations. So inhale. Feet can be hip width, dis apart, hip width distance or big toes touching. Let's reach the arms above the head. If you guys have the room, instead of reaching up forward, which I'm going to do because I'm limited in space, use that space and take a big, big, big stretch up in front of you, right? Inhale, arms reach up and look up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive down, bringing your hands down towards the floor. Good. Hold this forward bend. Just a couple more breaths. Let's start to bend the opposite knees here. Getting deeper into this. Go ahead and then inhale, reach your arms back up. Okay, exhale, take your right foot. You're gonna step out, I'm gonna face you guys for this one. You're gonna step out to the right, okay, and plant your hands on your thighs. Inhale, lift your chest up into a standing cow pose and exhale, round your back into a standing cat pose. Do that again, inhale into your standing cow and exhale into your cat pose. Now, we're gonna inhale, step back to center, okay? Big sweep up and then exhale, step out to the left as you plant your hands, okay? Take a deep breath in and then exhale, dip your right shoulder down as you look over your left and inhale, come back up to center and exhale, dip the left shoulder 
And inhale back up to center. How about one more time each side? Exhale. Go ahead, dip down. And inhale, rise up. One more time, exhale. And then inhale, rise up. Good. Sweep back to center. Deep breath in. Exhale. Take your forward fold all the way down. Chest to thighs. Gaze towards your knees. Inhale. Flat back. Take the gaze to the top of the mat. Hands to shins or fingertips. Graze the floor. Exhale. Plant your hands. Step back into a plank position. Your knees here can be up or down. Shift your shoulders slightly in front of the wrists and bend your elbows to lower your body halfway. Okay. Or all the way down. Flip your feet. Start to straighten your arms. Elbows can stay bent or press all the way up, okay? Thighs rest or lift the knees up. Again, lots of options. You might even take a couple little dips here with the hip to get deeper. Feels good in my body. Good. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, and come on back, okay? So I say it feels good in my body. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to feel great in yours. So this is where this organic nature comes in, where you start to honor where you're at today. Inhale, come up on your toes, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step or jump your feet forward between your hands. Inhale, halfway left, gaze to the top of the mat, flat back. Exhale, fold down, drop your head. Inhale, stand up, reach your arms all the way up above your head. And exhale, step out to the right. Good, plant your hands. Inhale, standing cow pose, lift your heart, look up. And exhale, cat around the spine. Do that two more times with the breath. Now maybe here you do it three more times or four more times, right? And we're going to inhale, step back to center and then exhale, take it out to the other side. Inhale, lift your chest up and exhale, dip the right shoulder. Good. Take it back up to center, inhale and then exhale, dip the left shoulder. Now do it one more time on each side. Right? And what we want to do here is just connect with the movement of your breath. So your breath is dictating the pace here today. Okay. Good. Feel that stretch on the inhale. We're going to step back to center, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down, chest to thighs, stretch through the back body. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, step or jump back into your plank, knees up or down, bend your elbows lower, halfway or all the way. Flip your feet, straighten your arms, and lift your chest into your back bend. And then exhale, we're coming back to downward facing dog. Good, breathe. Move the body, feel the stretch. Let's think about creating space here. Okay, inhale up in your toes, bend your knees, exhale, step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold down. Stand up, big stretch. One more time through here, you guys. Exhale, step out to the right, plant your hands on your thighs. Inhale, cow pose. So take it through. Exhale, cat. Two more times, follow the breath. Opening up through the chest. And we're going to come back to center, inhale, and then exhale, take it out to the other side. Fix my mic here. Okay, inhale, and then exhale, dip the right shoulder. Take it back up to center, and then over to the other side. I'm going to move one more time on each side. Inhale, step back to center, reach your arms up above your head, and exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, plant the hands, step or jump to the top or to the back of the mat, and bend your elbows lower down. Inhale, flip the feet, straighten the arms, lift your heart, exhale, tuck your toes. Let's pause right here with the breath. Good, downward dog. We're feeling a little warmer now, right? So maybe stretching a little bit deeper, taking that deep bend in the knees. Of course, sometimes it feels good just to be static, right? To be still, breathe into the body. All right, we're gonna inhale, 
lift the right leg up. Okay, keep the legs straight, point the toe. See if you can open up your hip here. Really get that deep stretch, that deep sensation through the legs. And then exhale, step your right foot between your hands. We're gonna come into a lunge, okay? So as you step your right foot forward, your feet should be about hip width distance. You can drop your back knee if you want to. Inhale, reach your arms up and look up. Good. Now exhale, take a side bend. Drop your left hand to your side and bend over to the left. Right arm reaches, draw the shoulder back, feel the stretch through that left side. Then inhale, come up to center, and then let's take it to the other side. Drop the right hand down and stretch over to the right. Good. Inhale, reach your arms back up, and exhale, take a prayer twist. We're going to hook the elbow, left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Press the top hand down to the bottom hand, and then turn and take your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, open up to star pose, straighten your legs, straighten your arms, and then exhale. We're going to take skandhasana, so you're going to lunge into that left knee. Get your hips nice and low down towards your heel. Good. Straighten your right leg, flex the foot, feel the stretch of your inner thigh. You can drop your hands here if you want to. We're going to inhale to dragonfly twist. So we're going to walk back to the front of the mat, left hand down, right arm up towards the sky. Take your gaze up. Good. Open up. Right shoulder over left, right? You can drop the back knee if you want. You can even catch that back foot, right? So we've got some options. Exhale, pyramid pose. Now plant your hand down. Step your back foot in. Anchor the heel down and straighten both legs. Bring in your belly, your nose, and your forehead towards your thigh. Pyramid pose. And you feel that, right? Now even kind of like shifting the weight forward a little bit, the weight back a little bit. Right? Exploring new sensations in the body. Good. Now, we're going to lift the chest up. If you have a block here, you guys, you can place your block on the inside of your foot and place your hand on the block. Lift the chest up, and then we're twisting for a revolved triangle, reaching the right arm up towards the sky. Shoulders are stacked. Gaze down or up towards your hand. Good. Place the hand a little bit deeper down, feeling this twist. Good. Now inhale, stand up. We're going to open up. We call sky archer pose. So legs are straight, just like triangle pose or reverse triangle. Grab your right wrist and open up the body. Feel the stretch here through that side body. Go ahead and take another breath in and exhale. Let's come all the way down. Step back and move through to downward facing. Maybe this time we just eliminate the vinyasa, the push-ups, right? And we allow that chest to sink a little bit deeper. How are we doing, everyone? Checking in, right? Ask yourself, how am I doing? All right. Let's take the left leg up. Inhale. Good. Lift up. See if you can open up a little bit. Maybe bend the knee. Again, explore, you guys. Circle around through the ankle. We're going to step the left foot between the hands, feet are hip-width distance, back knee is down or up. Arms reach, inhale, and look up. Palms face each other. Breathe into the stretch, right? So here, it might even feel good to just kind of pulse a little bit up and down, right? Freedom and movement, you guys. Move your body however it needs to be moved today. Good. One more inhale. Drop your right hand down. Take a side bend over to the right. Notice if you need to sink a little bit deeper in your hips or even drop your back knee down. Good. Inhale, reach up. Let's switch sides. Left hand comes down. Stretch over to the left. Keep the chest open. The gaze steady and soft. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're twisting right elbow to the outside of the thigh. Press the top palm down to the bottom. Use the resistance, elbow to thigh. Take the gaze over your shoulders. If you can, drop the back knee at any time. Good. Focusing on the sensation of this twist. We're going to open up to star. So open all the way up to star, spread through the fingers, spread through the toes, and then let's lunge down into that right knee skandhasana. Left leg is straight. Notice, you guys, toes are pointed up. Use the, um, your hands to the floor if you need to for balance. Lower that he heel down for a different sensation, whatever it is. 
you need to do here. Maybe even sticking the hips back a little bit more to get deeper into that stretch. Let's inhale, walk it forward into dragonfly twist. We're lunging to the front of the mat, right hand is down, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Open the heart. Good. And then notice this foot. If you're falling out to the outside, it's totally okay. But maybe play with it. See if you what happens when you really anchor down through the entire foot. So just exploring the options in our body today. Maybe sinking the hips down a little bit or lifting up a little bit more. Or finding this pulsing sensation, right? This movement. Good. One more breath. Left hand comes down. Pyramid pose. We're stepping the back foot in. Anchor the back heel. If you need to, grab your block. Place your hand on the block for support, okay? Hips are square, so left hip comes back, belly, chest, forehead, nose right over that left leg. Relax the head. Breathe. Good. And I think that last one, we kind of move forward and back. How about if you kind of sway your hips from side to side here? What is going on? I'm feeling a lot of sensation just through this movement. Now we're gonna lift the chest again if you want. Place a block underneath your right hand and pull that left hip back. Let's lift the chest and then twist. Open into our revolved triangle, reaching the left arm up. Okay, you can come down deeper, right? Onto the floor, whatever we need to do. Try not to let the head hang down here, right? Lift up, pull your shoulders back, lengthen your spine. Good, breathe. Ooh. Create some heat here, right? Go ahead, release. Let's take Sky Archer, stand up. Legs are straight. Make sure the left toes are pointed forward. Reach your arms above your head. Grab your left wrist, take a side bend. Over to the back foot. Good, breathe. One more inhale and exhale. Let's take it all the way back down. Step back. And take it through to downward facing, however you choose to get there today. All right, let's walk the hands back into our standing forward fold. Good. Maybe take the hands around the legs this time, pull yourself in, or alternate kneel. kneel knee bends, hello. All right, let's go ahead and release down onto your knees. And we'll face the long edge of your mat. So let's start by bringing uh, your legs out in front of you. We'll do a little bit of, of a hip opening here. Take your right foot, cross it to the outside of your left leg, and then slide your left foot to your opposite hip. And then we're just gonna take, kind of press right above the knees and kind of press in, get those knees stacked here. Bring your feet close to your hips. Now, if you need a little bit more sensation here, you're gonna move your feet further away and then you're gonna start to really feel that in the hips here, okay? If you need to, grab your block, go ahead, elevate your hips and sit on your block. We're gonna take a deep breath in and then exhale, fold forward, okay? So we're gonna come right down the center. And if you feel like you can go further but you're hitting compression here or you're chest or your belly is running into your thigh, you're gonna just walk over to the left or to over that top shin and allow yourself to sink in a little bit deeper into this stretch. So we've got a cow space, pose, vinyasa, or an Indian posture, we call it shoe release. So this is more of an active stretch. We're working through the muscles, feeling this through the hips. Just come back to your breath. And again, if you want to, go a little bit deeper, maybe even just kind of moving through your upper body a little bit, seeing what is working best, what feels good, what is effective, what is creating a deeper sensation in your body. Right, a freedom in movement here. And listening to your inner teacher, Sad Guru. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lift up. And from here, you guys, we're gonna kinda do a little stand and turn so that we come into a straddle forward bend. So we're gonna take your hands, come over to the left, okay, to that top leg, that foot that's um, on the top leg. You're gonna 
lean over towards that foot, and we're gonna stand up and turn to the back and come into a straddle forward bend. Hello there. And let's just kind of stretch out in this forward fold if it feels good. You know, kind of moving through, bending through your knees. Once again, it's all a matter of what is working for your body today. At this time, you might even clasp your hands behind the back, add a chest expansion, add a twist here, right? There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just depending upon your body today. Good, and now we're gonna continue in that same direction. So now we're gonna come over to the left, cross your legs, and now we've got the opposite leg on top. Okay. Sit up tall and fold forward. Once again, if you hit compression, take it over to the other side. Okay, and let's breathe. Finding that subtle movement as you need it. And always we're also recognizing that we don't always need to be moving the body, right? That static nature of these stretches is really good and really effective and feels uh, really wonderful also in the body. So we're playing in the moment here. Just do you. Again, focusing on the breath. Come back over again to that leg that's on top, or to, uh, come to that foot, so that would be um, your right foot, and plant the hands. Let's come back up into that straddle forward bend, and take it behind you again. Do whatever you need to do to feel deeper in the stretch. All right, allowing this organic movement in our practice really um, enhances our connection, right? So how much attention are you paying? What is the quality of your awareness as you're moving through your yoga practice? And not just through this video right now, but any other time you're practicing yoga. Okay, we're gonna walk back to the top of the mat and then just drop down through your knees. Let's extend the legs out in front. Reach your arms up, big stretch here. Inhale, exhale, fold. Caterpillar, or that's actually our yin name for this pose. It's just a seated forward fold on Paschimottanasana. Grab the feet if you have, again, a towel, small towel or a strap. Feel free to use that to wrap around your feet. Now pull the shoulders back, lead with the chest, and let's extend. So here, you can bend your knees here, right? Press the knees down. Flex the feet for a second, okay? And let's notice what we start to feel here, an enhanced stretch, an enhanced sensation through, especially through the calves, okay? Now, point your toes, and then what do you feel? Maybe a little bit more, even through the tops of the feet, the ankles, along the shins. So what does your body need in this moment? Exploring, right? Think of this as an exploration. Just be curious about where your body's at today. Let's take one more inhale. One more exhale, sink deeper. And then rise all the way up. And we're going to come onto uh, our back, or come onto your back, and bring the knees to your chest. Now, from here, um, got a bun in your hair you might want to take the bun out we're going to be reclined for the rest of the video so feel free to do whatever you need to do here um, but we're going to bring the legs to the ceiling okay so we'll start with legs to ceiling and this might be as far as you get okay but if you want a little bit more you're going to slide that block okay under your sacrum this gives you an elevation of the hips it feels really good even that gentle pressure of your sacrum right um, pressing into your block feels good. Make sure your legs are straight, okay? Point the toes and maybe even flex the toes back and press to the ball mounds of the feet. Okay, we're just gonna hold this for a few breaths. And if you don't have a yoga block, 
get creative, uh, a cushion, right? Or get a towel um, and kind of fold it in half and tightly roll it up. And you can use that um, as in lieu of a block. It also might be a little bit softer. Okay, so you can stay here or we're gonna go a little bit deeper into shoulder stand. So from here, you would lift the hips up, right? Press, place your hands on the back and maybe walk the shoulders in a little bit and then start to lengthen your legs up. Keep the feet strong. Good. Legs are active, inner thighs moving towards each other. This posture is really great for promoting the calm, relaxation, a good stress reliever, great posture to come into, or legs up against the wall right before you go to bed to just kind of calm the nervous system. Okay, you might feel good to, again, start to move, maybe come into a Baddha Konasana or butterfly position with the feet or opening up wide into a straddle. I don't quite have the room on this side, so I'm going to bend one knee here, right? And then maybe kind of angle to the other side. Okay, we're gonna take the feet behind the head into plow. Okay, if you're in legs to ceiling, you might just wanna bring your knees to your chest here. Okay, so in plow pose, you can release the arms. Okay, but I'm gonna also give you this option to come to Karnapadasana or ear pressure pose. That will take a little bit of the stretch out of the hamstrings and bring the knees to the outside of the ears. Either way, we're stretching the spine fully in this posture. And in your plow, you might even want to lift. Right. And sometimes, right, when we're in a yoga practice or yoga class, like in a studio, we don't want to maybe draw attention to ourselves by moving our bodies. Um, so this is a great way for you to express yourself in your practice without that hesitation. You've got your block behind you. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put that over to the side and slowly release onto the back and bring your knees into your chest, okay. Place your feet down, lift your hips up, scoot them over to either the left or the right and then drop your knees in the opposite direction. Let's take a spinal twist. Gaze over your shoulder. Lots of different expressions of this posture, right? Both knees are bent, but you can also straighten one leg out um, to the front of your mat. You can extend both legs out as you hold the twist. And then let's come back to center. Pick those hips up, scoot them all the way to the other opposite direction, drop your knees, and take your gaze over the opposite shoulder. So we're just gazing away from the knees here and encouraging a little bit more openness through the chest and through the shoulders. Come back to center. How are we feeling, you guys? All right, let's bring the knees in. Take a deep breath in. Rock very, very gently side to side. Last release for the lower back. One more time. Breathe in, hug the knees in, and then breathe out and extend the legs out. So we're going to move into our final rest, into Shavasana. So as always, I encourage you to hold Shavasana at least five minutes if you can. So you would pause the video right about now to um, create a longer Shavasana. But do as long as you can, even if it's just a minute. This is to really um, seal our practice in, um, to enjoy um, all the benefits that this practice has, has given us today and to really tune in deeper to that sensation. So relax your arms, turn the palms up, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release and stay your body to stillness. Namaste.
Thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope today you were able to feel some deep sensation in your body. You were able to connect just a little bit more to really what you were feeling to the present moment, to get that mind clear and calm and really enjoy and experience your practice to its fullest. So if you like the video, press the like button, share it with others, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon. Namaste.